Can y'all see this yet? Can y'all see y'all see anything yet? Not yet. How about now? Yeah. Yeah now. Yes. Yeah, good. Yes, sir. Good. That's my iPad. All right. Okay, we talked to, we talked to, last week we talked about resistance and I showed you oops, I'm trying. And I showed you this on voltage drop and I showed you that uh Now when you got 12 volts going in, you can see here going into you got 12 volts going into the circuit okay and eight volts coming out that's one that's one way you could check for voltage loss the other way is when you go across and do a voltage drop and see that and find that four volt drop okay that's a voltage drop. So at the so so going into the relay, it's going to be eight volts because we lost four volts across the contact. And hence the word voltage drop. We 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 find the corrosion using a term called voltage drop. Now we talked about that last week. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to show you. Now here's the y'all can see that right? Y'all can see this YouTube video. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So here's the first one. Yeah. That kind of, <clears throat> this is gonna try to explain if I can show you what we talked about. This is close we can get to the last shot. Okay. Somebody. Oh, I gotta meet somebody. Somebody's. Somebody's on. Now this is a car that doesn't start at all. It can't it actually drove into the shop. They turned the car off. They went to go start it, and it wouldn't start. And we didn't touch it yet, I don't think. Now watch this. All right, crank it. Crank it. Now, they, she crank, she's cranking the key. You hear no noise at all, okay? There's nothing heard, and she turned this key. Nothing, right? Nothing, no lights, nothing. No crank at all, right? Let it go, crank it again. Alright, so watch this. Okay. Alright, this is what we do. Hello, cameraman. Basically, what we did was there's no crank at all, okay, right? Nothing at all. I'm gonna call the battery. See the battery holding that 12.6. Don't crank it right now. Now look at this. This battery is 12.6 volts. I know it's hard to hear, so I'm talking over it. At that battery is 12.6, and when she crank it, it's still gonna be 12.6. 12.6, right? Now crank Mr. it. Mr. Davis. Crank it. Yeah. See, no. See, right now they're cranking the car over. I know. I know it's a shaky camera. This was done five years ago. All the all these videos look uh, amateurish. <laughs> can you so, can you enlarge the, the screen? Say it again. Video? Can you enlarge the screen for the video? Enlarge it. Yes. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Much better. Way right better. Like like a open circle, nothing, right? So I looked at the voltage drop. Check the ground. So I look from here to here. Look, I'm on ground. Look at the battery. It is zero. That makes no sense. Like yeah, catch that? I mean, back, yeah. let me back look. I was playing around with it. Watch this. Watch this. See it? Is oh, I'm back up far enough. Now that's cranking right there. It's 12.6. Cranking the car over. No crank, no lights. And the battery has 12.6. Right now, you should understand, if I turn that key... Right, it's like the old trick. You turn the headlights on, you turn the key, it should go dim. If it, don't go, if it doesn't go dim, you got to open circuit somewhere to the starter. 
okay? The same thing for volt meter. It should be 12.6 volts. Cranking it, it should drop to at least 10, minimum 9.6. They cranking it right now, I got 12.6 volts. Like, like a certain nothing, right? And so I want to do a voltage drop, check the ground. So I look from here to here. Look, I'm on ground. Look at the battery. See it? It's zero. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Yeah. Somebody got their. Uh, Somebody got their. Uh, mute yourself, y'all. I hear the background. I hear myself in the background. See that? I'm cranking the car over. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, not the cranking car the car. Uh, who is that? I can't even see it from this one. Uh, right now, I'm on the battery plus and the ground. It's reading zero volts. Key on engine off, zero volts right now. But look what my ground is at. If I back it up, look what I had the ground at. You can see, you can see that? It's on the, it's on the, it's on the alternator casing, the ground, frame. Yeah. But yet, but yet, the voltmeter is reading zero volts, but the battery's at 12.6. I'm on ground. Look at the battery. See it? It's zero. That makes no sense. Like, it has no ground. Now, go, go back here. See? Ground? 12.6. All right? I go to the front. You see that? Back at the battery is 12.6. Hey, can y'all mute your mic? I can't get it. I got the large screen like that. Somebody got their mic on. Screen is gone. And I mean, it's gone. There's nothing. There's no ground at all. So if this is going to the safe side, I know it ain't this, but I, I tell both of cross this. I'm supposed to see zero. I'm going to cross here and here. Now you understand why you're supposed to see zero. I'm going to cross the battery center post and cable. Crank the car over. You understand why you're supposed to see zero, right? If you don't understand why, you're not gonna you're not gonna understand the next move. Anybody don't get that? If you don't get it, unmute your mic and say something. All right, everybody got it. So the next step I'm gonna do after this, right, is gonna tell you the problem. But you don't understand you won't understand it if you don't understand this right here, why you got zero. And remember, I'm going across the center post and the outer cable. And at the start, we had nothing either. That's how we got here. At the start, we had nothing down there. So I go across here, crank it. Crank it. See, that's supposed to be zero, no loss. Right, because there's no, no resistance there. There's supposed to be no resistance there. On law, voltage point, voltage push current on resistor, there should be no resistance right here. But now, let's come over here. I go this connection. And this connection. Oops. Crank it. Crank it. You see that? Come on, yeah, that's pretty good. Y'all don't get that. That's I mean, that's the best way to do a voltage drive, dude. That's the best example I ever seen. And that's a that's a that's the best voltage drop I can show you. Okay? And all that was we've been talking about for the last two weeks. Now, if you, don't, if you don't get it, be, don't be shy. Say something. Cause if you if you see he got the cables hooked up too, I, he me. <laughs> I didn't get it. Go again, but explain it. Say it again. Explain it. I didn't get explain it. it. Okay. Yeah. See now. I can see the zero point six. We got twelve point six there. Right. Let me back it up. I'm glad you say something. I'm back on. I'm trying all you back to the positive side. Oops. This don't have a 10 second, 10 second rewind. Let's try to resistor. There should be no resistance right here. But now let's come over here. I have it on the positive center post and the outer post. You're supposed to see no loss like that. You see that zero right there? That's the good cable. The center post, the center post, and the outer post are touching. There should be no difference, okay, at all. 
So I should see zero and zero and the meter showing me the difference. So that meter is supposed to say zero. Because it's 12 and 12. 12 in the center poles, 12 on the outer poles. The difference, which is, the difference which, which, is, which is between the two should be zero. Okay? Davis. Yes. So you're saying outer pulse, you're referring to the battery clamp, correct? Yes. The, uh, the outer pulse is the clamp, the cable. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. The outer yeah. clamp, I'm sorry. The outer clamp, yeah. which goes to yeah, the cable. The clamp, the clamp connected to the battery uh, pulse on the positive side. Yes, that's exactly. So yeah. remember, that's the positive side. So both of them should be 12 volts or 12.6. So if the center is 12.6 and the outer is 12.6, the difference should be zero. Remember, the meter shows the difference in between the two leads. So 12.6 12, 12, 12, 12 subtract from 12.6 is zero. It should be no lost. Now, let's so move the to the next one. is good then. That's good, exactly. That's good. All right. Try to throw a resistor. There should be no resistance right here. Remember, this is but the now, let's come over here. I go this connection. Now look at this connection right here. Pay close attention. This is a, this is a good picture. I'm on the, the red one is going to the battery. The negative the negative is going right here. I want to do this. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try. Oh it works. See that one? The negative is going to the cable here. Okay. This this red lead here is going over here to this post center post. The negative cable is going to the other terminal here. I'm checking the difference between the negative side here and the negative side here here so if this is zero which is the ground and this is zero which is the ground that meter should show me a difference of zero i was surprised i did that on the youtube video damn that was that's pretty good i surprised myself in that one now watch this okay ah damn i'm doing so good Mr. David, yeah. after the class, can you uh, post that video on the small tag? Yeah, I'm recording it right. I'm recording it right now. If it comes out, I'm gonna post. <laughs> I already I already subscribed to the to your channel. You know, time ago, and I found the video again. Okay, I know I don't post a lot because I need to get back on that. I'm gonna start doing more, but it takes so much time. Now watch this and this connection. Crank it. Crank it. You see that? So that means we had to open somewhere in the cable. Not the. It had re, right. You got resistance in the cable. See, look at this. On one side of the cable, right? I had zero. I'm on one side of the cable versus the other side. Why would I have twelve point six volts? between two negatives. The reason why is re this is showing me resistance. This number here is showing me this some type of resistance in between those two points. Between the battery and, terminal and the cable. Between in this case in this case it's a it's a two piece cable. I'm gonna show you when we fix it. It's actually a two piece cable. That two piece cable they got from AutoZone had too much corrosion between it. Okay. Okay. And that corrosion, I needed that voltage to overcome that resistance. That's cranking. That's right here. Without it right here, this voltage, get it right here. This resistance right here is taking out 12 volts. You see this? This is a two piece cable. That's a cable outer, and that's another one. It's a two piece cable. The connection between here and here has a problem. Because I'm here with one lead and here with the other lead. So in between these two points, there's a problem. 
I had resistance somewhere in between here that I need that voltage to overcome to push the current through. The only reason I need that 12.6 volts to push current to some type of resistance. So between these two points, there's resistance. Someone create that problem because that battery is not the right one. No, this, in this case, it's not the battery. It's the connection between here. Right in here, there's a, there's a connection problem causing too okay. much resistance. Gotcha. So some of the negative cable is taking up 12 volts. That's supposed to do the same thing here. Like this, it says zero. You see that one says zero? That's between cable to cable, it's supposed to say zero. No loss. Remember, zero reading in this case is good. In the case, no loss at all. But this one, is 12. You see that one? The same setup, but now this one reading 12.6. That's bad. All right, so we're gonna take this, either, either this cable got corrupted. Hey, 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 you see the two piece cable? The two piece cable. Oh, you can't Is that see it? it? Yeah. Snap it off. 